The Uganda Forum for Agricultural Advisory Services UFAS, is implementing a three-year agroecology project titled the Global Program for Small-Scale Agroecology Producers and Sustainable Food Systems Transformation, GPSAEP. The project was officially launched in Uganda earlier this year in February 2024. I want to create uh, a portion to dedicate to this project. Whenever you, you need to be, I'm available for this project. Therefore, I'm happy to launch the project. To launch these 32 months, there's no way that we can achieve you know, the agenda 2030 when the person who works with the farmer, if their voice is not heard, and that person is an extension officer. So how do you sustain the production and be able to feed this population? Agroecology brings some of the answers that are needed to that. It focuses on component three, which is enhancing rural advisory services and farmer-to-farmer -farmer joint learning for small-scale producers in transition to agroecology. This project will improve access to knowledge and empower over 3,000 smallholder farmers. The project is implemented in five districts in Uganda, namely Buyikwe and Sembawle in central Uganda, Bujiri and Soroti districts in eastern Uganda, and Lira district in northern Uganda. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the commissioning activities in one of the project sites, Lira district in northern Uganda, which is about 340 kilometers from Uganda's capital, Kampala. In northern Uganda, UFAS partnered with Rural Advisory Service Provider Organization, FINASP, short form for Facilitation for Innovative Actions and Sustainable Development. The commissioning activities included an official launch by the Lira District Officers, training of the Rural Advisory Service Providers, and a visit to one of the farming communities where the project will be implemented. UFAS Chief Executive Officer introduced the project purpose and scope partners and the approach to the work. Partners Access Agriculture and Rasp of Pinas were also in attendance. We all shared their support and enthusiasm for the GPSIF project. Agroecology transition is about change within complex agriculture and food systems. To facilitate this change, the rural advisory service providers require competencies around various aspects. Using a mix of methodologies, the master trainers delivered introductory trainings on the agroecology knowledge, attitude and practice assessment, agroecology principles and practices, and shared some case studies on agroecology for sustainable development. Agali Cooperative Society, Access Agriculture showed farmers a number of agroecology videos. We were honored to have distinguished guests, including the Assistant Resident District Commissioner, the Vice Chairperson of the Local Council 5, the Chief Administrative Officer, and the District Production and Marketing Officer. All project partners and the district officials are committed to ensure the success of the project. So we look forward to capacitate uh, the RAS facilitators, rural advisory service facilitators, so that they get uh, the end of the project, they know the detail about the uh, global program for small-scale agroecology producers and sustainable food system transformation. I must assure you, the implementing partners, we are willing and ready to help you I believe also so much into community awareness. The beginning will help trigger you to begin to think. Using the agricultural concept is very important and we should have started long time ago. But just to say that as we undertake this very important work that GPSIF has offered, we sit back and bring out those standards of conducting extension the ethics of conducting it. After the training, we requested participants to share their experience. How have you found the training? The training was so good. I feel 
one friend so interesting about the agroecology. I loved the topics of that day. It was so motivational. Uh, I see that uh, the project is aiming at supporting food, food production and income generation at the end of it all. Which, uh, I loved uh, the approaches, so much participatory. I really feel that the training was so beneficial for me, not only for me, but also my team, and also the people I went to reach out to. I found the training so fantastic. We really feel empowered. I am the project coordinator, the project officer at Rufus, and I'm the one coordinating this project in all the five districts. Of Soroti, Puyikwe, Puchiri, Lira, and Sembabule. Indeed, it has been a successful training in Lira and in all these other districts, and all our expectations were met. And uh, we believe that the team are set and ready to start the training, and they're so excited. Thank you.